What up? I'm like three minutes early. Let's go. That's what I do. I go er I go live early. I don't go live. I don't go live late. Fuck. I can't talk. H hang on. Let me just restart the stream. Let me stop going live and then go live again. Hey everybody. I'm a frog. Uh, and I'm gonna play some Halo Combat Evolved on the Master Chief Collection. Hey Jake Millid. 69XX. Uh, hey, IDK Studios. So yeah, um, I only streamed a couple days ago on YouTube, so I'm not going to do like a no reset or anything. This is going to be like straight up me trying to run the game to try to get the best time I can. Here, Robinson, hey, Anthony. But uh, yeah, so we will see how it goes. It's meant to be Miller. Ain't no way. But, um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm running against a 419 POA. Kind of like Echo 419. Holy shit. Hey, helicopter tours. But, uh, yeah. I haven't been running as much as usual as of late. Like, uh, pretty much my live streams have been the only, like, times I've played this game lately. I did a little bit last night like I played for maybe like 45 minutes and uh, made it out of this level like once Those which really pissed me off do what you do best. Uh, message deleted by Nightbot that's weird Xbox God <laughs> hold up I may have to look into that I don't know what you could have sent that would have gotten yeah what the fuck is that why did it delete your fucking <laughs> Uh, Anthony, the answer to your question, favorite slash least favorite level to run in this game, favorite is, uh, probably TNR or SC, least favorite Halo, the next level sucks, and yeah, no one who runs this game likes, uh, the next level. I'm waiting. Why is it not working? Unless it is working and I just can't hear it. Oh, interesting, Xbox God. Is the super chat not working? Hmm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know what this fucking Nightbot thing is. I don't, yeah, people can type in all caps. Hold up. Uh, yeah, let me turn that off. I don't... I didn't add it to fucking do that. I don't know why it's doing that on its own. Hold up. Where's the fucking, like, mod settings? Uh, congrats, Jake Miller. You're the top chatter so far. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't... Where's the fucking option for that? Filter, spam protection. Okay, yeah. Disable, 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 disable. Okay, you should be able to type in all caps now. That was weird. I don't know why it does that by default. Okay. Yeah, and also, uh, what's the deal? Why didn't the super chat thing work? That was also weird. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe Joe's just busy at the moment. Anyway. Okay, back at it. Hi, Fluffy. Yeah, Joe is bad at the game, at Call of Duty. Joe, you suck at Call of Duty. You have an ego. You're bad, dude. Everyone knows it except you. Uh, are there any differences in MCC versions of the game when it comes to speed running? So do you mean like MCC versions of the game? Do you mean like between console and PC? Because in that case, no. Uh, if you mean like MCC versus other versions of the game, like, you know, the classic version, or like CE Anniversary, like from 2011, then yes. The differences would basically just be like any tricks that require... Uh, 
anniversary graphics. So, like, the main one is Bull. So, uh, that's a trick we do on two betrayals. And that one is... Everything that we do in this run is, like, theoretically possible, at the very least, in, cla in Classic. But, uh, like, Bull is an example of something where, like, it's possible, but not at all practical. Because without the graphics, you can't see anything the whole time. Let's go, Blaine. But, um... Halo 3, I, well, every game's different, Daniel. So, like, um, Halo 3, I don't think there's any differences, but, like, Halo 2 is two separate categories because they're so different. It just depends on the game. For this game, yeah, there's differences, but they're they're just lumped in together. Like, in Halo 2 MCC versus, like, Halo 2 Classic, there are things that are not possible. Like, the physics are different, and, you know, stuff like ghosting you just can't do in MCC because, you know, the physics are different. Like, it's a different game. Uh, this game is the same as Classic. It's just the anniversary graphics allow, to s allow you to see things that you wouldn't be able to see in Classic. But, like, everything we do in this is hypothetically possible in Classic. Most of it is done in Classic. Like, there's not very many differences between this and Classic. But, um, yeah. In no case, I have only done CE Lasso. What the fuck is that? Both the elites just run away from the plasma. What the fuck? Why are you chasing me this far? Covenant. His shields were down, that's why. He was aggroed. That's fucking horseshit. That just cost me the run. <laughs> hey, I thank you, Brad. Yeah, I'll do Halo 2 Lasso at some point. I was alive during Halo's release. I was one. But, uh, yeah. We will, uh... Halo Reach Lasso? I'll probably do Lasso on every game at some point. It's just a matter of when, and I am not in any rush to, uh, do another Lasso video. Although I will say, the video that, uh, I worked on last that I finished yesterday. It's up right now for patrons. It'll be up for everyone else tomorrow. Uh, was worse to film. I had less fun doing it than doing Lasso. Like, it is my, like, process of making it, I had, it was the opposite of fun. It sucked to make. But, um, yeah. Patreon, by the way, I launched it a week ago, right about. So, uh. If anyone wants to uh, support the channel and get some benefits and exclusive content and stuff. Like right now I got the bloopers and outtakes up from the new video. There's also stuff like you get to see it earlier and, you know, uh, you get like uh, access to my Discord. That's another main thing. So you can like chat with me and, you know, I hang out in the voice chat a lot. So, you know, many of my patrons have hung out and talked to me a bit. But, um, yeah, if you would like to join the Patreon, that is linked in the description. Move, Grunt. Good luck, Saul. You're gonna need it. Yeah, Jake, the, uh, plan is to do, like... Because that video did well, right? Like, that's now an obvious series where, like, I downloaded every Halo 2 mod, or I downloaded a bunch of Halo 2 mods, a bunch of Halo 3 mods, and so on. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's planned. But, you know, I'll space it out. I'm not gonna do every one at once. I have zero interest in cars or motorcycles. I like getting from point... I like getting from point A to point B. So if you've never watched, like, PB attempts, this is true of every Halo runner, not just me, but, like, uh, you ever watch, like, a Sloth stream or something? Sometimes people get stuck on POA for a bit, and this is not POA jail, like, this is, what, third or fourth attempt? Like, whatever. 
I think third attempt if you don't count the one that I stopped because Nightbot was being stupid. But yeah, that's whenever like running isn't fun, whenever you're just stuck in the first level forever. Because that does happen sometimes where like you're just in here for fucking half an hour and you just cannot get anything going. But um, it's also like 419 POA, like I don't need to be taking, like I could take worse POAs than I do take. And if I do like end up stuck, then I'll be willing to take like a 430 or something just to get out. Have you ever played Halo 5? Yes, I've made videos on Halo 5. Uh, I don't know, Cal. I'd say probably like half an hour or so. But, um, yeah. These Marines I'm shooting to keep them out of the way, because sometimes they'll, like, holy shit. Uh, Roach just blew himself up. Sometimes they'll, like, walk and block where you're going. So we just shoot them to keep them out of the way. That's, like, one of the most common questions I get during live chats is, why are you shooting those Marines? And that's why. No, hee hee, it is not about he or fuck. In the video. This hallway is the worst part of the level because it's complete fucking bullshit. Okay. It's not entirely luck, but it's very luck based whether or not you survive that. There's a bit of like skill to maneuvering, but yeah, sometimes you can completely fuck it up and make through. Other times you do everything as well as you can and you still die. Now this part, RNG just means like luck based, like luck. This part's also RNG. Sometimes these enemies will get alerted, and then they don't just stand there and die. Um, and it's not alerted by you. It's alerted by the Marines in the stair room. So they'll, like, they can get aggroed through the wall, and you'll see them, like, shoot at the wall because they're trying to get the Marines through the wall. And uh, when that happens, that just fucks everything up. Uh, Ryan, I think it's easier with the frag. Life pods are launching. We should hurry. Warning. Blast doors closing. The Covenant are destroying the... But yeah, if you have frags, you want to use a frag. Because uh, you want to save your plasmas as much as you can. So if I have frags, I'll use one for that jump, and I'll use one for maintenance skip. You uh, can also use one at the barricade jump, but I don't like that one because you have to throw it, stop, and then wait, so it just loses you time. And that's a jump that, like... The barricade room, you're going to survive 90% of the time. Yes, the Discord is for members only and then people that I know, like, personally. So, like, speedrunners and stuff are in there. Or not members, but patrons. Don't become a channel member. I still have those open for, like, people who were members, but uh, those are going to be canceled. And you will receive nothing. But yeah, if you would like to support the channel and get the benefits and stuff, you will want to do that through Patreon. Other ground still alive. Nope, he's not. Plus 0, 0.0. Yes, Saul, that's fine. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? Hey, G Pro. Are you alright? Can you move? The others. There's nothing we can do. Alright. Warning. I detected multiple covenant drops. Uh. Approach. I recommend moving into those hills. Well, yeah, I am going to keep the uh, memberships. I'm going to change it to a dollar a month and just have it be like if you want a frog by your name or something. It'll just be like the emojis and then like the frog by your name if anyone wants to pay a buck for that. But yeah, like the main thing is going to be the Patreon. I am playing on PC, but I am on controller. So yeah, if anyone is confused, the controller at the bottom of the screen, those are my inputs live as I'm making them. So like right now I'm hitting the A button to jump. There's a right trigger for shoot. 
These are my inputs as I'm making them on that controller. So that helps for transparency, obviously, so people know, like, what I'm doing, and it's easier to check and see if people are cheating, and it's also, like, if you want to learn how to do stuff, you can see the buttons I press to do it. Damn, it's fucking Plasma City. Marty, he's killing the Marines. Oh fuck, someone's still alive. No fucking shot. The fucking jackal's still alive, dude. God damn it. So this has to be like better than good. Okay, that was good enough. God fucking damn it. I've never done that. I've never just left an enemy alive before. That's crazy. No, I just have a regular controller a regular Xbox one controller it's green though because I'm a frog that's not why it's because all my other controllers were broken that was the only color I didn't have nope it's over Do I have plasmas? I have one plasma. So this ship I would normally skip, but uh, that jackal being alive fucked me, but that grunt teleported so I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, so whatever. Yeah, I can... Nah, actually, no, I can't fucking salvage it. Like, this is gonna be a bad Halo no matter what now, but whatever. Yes, PB stands for peanut butter. A tutorial for AOTCR Banshee Grab. Uh, those already exist. So me doing a tutorial, like, yeah, won't really help you. Uh, look at Kronos' tutorial for it. Uh, yippee! Bro thinks he's episode one Anakin. So I'm like... 30 seconds behind where I should be. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. If I had a PB video during my runs like Garish did, or like Garish does, then uh, I'd be really behind it right now, but we can still make it up. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them hmm. who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use it's your suit's not a natural formation. To Ain't no chatter. way. PB means personal best. I should change my title to world record attempts, even though, uh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Gotta do the clickbait. 
I did that one time on Twitch whenever I was even slower. I still had like a 119 PB and I was like, Halo C legendary world record attempts. And I'm fucking almost 20 minutes off the record. Holy shit. He just got fucked up. It is world record on controller attempts because I already have the world record that isn't actually tracked. But I am the fastest controller player for whatever that is worth. Zero dollars. Yeah, emphasis on attempts. There's new traffic on the Covenant battle map. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If Flood we can skip, find skip. Captain Keys yeah. and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. I don't know what that is, Jake. Thank you very much. Loves from Cyprus, Cyprus, I'm not sure. I also don't know how to say your name, but thank you. Yeah, I don't know who that is, Jake. They make Halo IRL videos. Interesting. I don't watch that much on YouTube these days. No sign of survival. Fuck. I keep missing that goddamn frag. I saw the one that, uh, I think it was like some gun channel made one. Oh, hey, reliable bin tin. Who the fuck is that? Uh, Maybe they took cover who like, uh, they did like, it's like a gun channel and they made like a battle rifle in real life. Hopefully they were dead before I shot them. Or else this is bad. <laughs> would I like to see Halo 3 Anniversary? I think Halo 3 Anniversary would be extremely unnecessary because the original Halo 3 still plays great and looks great. So yeah, people talk about Halo 3 Anniversary and it's like, I don't really care about, oh yeah, Halo 3 with better graphics. Like, who gives a shit? Especially when, like, most people still play this game on classic graphics. Halo 2 is probably, like, pretty split. It's like, oh yeah, Halo 3 with better graphics whenever it all already, like, still looks awesome. Fuck, stop moving. You motherfucker. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Yeah, this runs dog shit. But we can still fix it up. I will say, yeah, the worst looking thing about Halo 3 is the cutscenes. Like, the faces look bad, they're not well shot, like, it's a very noticeable downgrade from Halo 2's cutscenes. I don't give a shit, get in the goddamn Warthog, you fucking asshole. I don't know why I just wasted a shot on him knowing I wasn't gonna kill him. Where's that other elite at? There's another grunt somewhere. Unless they killed him when I wasn't looking. Maybe they did kill him. I got that checkpoint. Nah, I wasn't as late as I thought. I could have thrown nades. I should have thrown nades. So I am relying on the marines to fucking draw their fire and they did not. That's okay, that halo sucked anyway. Okay, back to the POA. Well, Jake, I haven't watched uh, Halo 1. Or, uh, not Halo 1, Halo Season 1.
reach legendary elite ultra with beam cannon or halo 3 who fucking cares dude ay, ay, ay. I, sorry not to be an asshole i saw that you asked that earlier but like i'm not 12 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw your question earlier. I didn't. I ignored it on purpose. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Okay. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Do yeah, blurred is really good work. That's a. Uh, their cutscenes are like the best part of Halo, of, uh, Halo 2 Remastered. Like even, they're 10 years old now and they still look awesome. The Halo Wars cutscenes look fucking awesome. Those are from 2008. You add me on Xbox when I add you back, I will not know. plays. Nice, both elites dead. Doesn't even matter that I grenaded myself. Let's go. Covenant, on the landing above us. Oh hee hee, I have an entire video about Halo Infinite. Not to mention, you watch like all of my videos, right? So you've heard me talk about it. Because you're here all the time. Unless you're asking the chat. In which case, please don't start, start a fucking Halo Infinite, is Halo Infinite bad debate in my chat. Are You've been hurry. here long enough, hee hee. You should know Last that I get annoyed by stuff like that. Yeah, like, oh yeah, another fucking... I think Halo Infinite sucks. No, it's fucking great. Oh, you classic Bungie fans need to fucking... No, it's dog shit. 343 bad. Number company bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's fucking good. Bungie fanboys. Whoa. Like, just everyone shut up. It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you, yeah? As a Reese, I think it's very uninteresting to start having a fucking comet war about infinite in a stream that has nothing to do with infinite. I did a mouse and keyboard run once that went bad because I don't know how to play a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, like if I ever wanted to compete for like world record or something, I would have to switch to mouse and keyboard. A Navy Rymar. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you alright? Can you move? The others. But yeah, people also like can't talk about stuff. Oh. Is Joe Shark. There we go. Hog. Detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky. Five dollars from Swiper Forty for Vex. Here's five bucks that says you set a noob on the stream. Let's go, Frog. Thank you, Viper. Thank you, Joe, for reading that out. I would have to switch to KBM if I wanted to get a world record because you lose time by playing on controller. Because stuff is harder to line up. 
Uh, there's one teleport in particular that just is not practical on controller. You can do it, I've done it, but it just takes way too long. Whereas on mouse and keyboard, it, you know, is a very quick lineup. But, um, yeah, a lot of this game is very precise. It requires, like, precise inputs and stuff that are difficult on controller. There's little things like, you know, it's harder for me to just walk in a straight line because of, like, strafing on the thumbstick. Um, there's things where, like, I can't look up nearly as fast as mouse and keyboard players. So, like, on stick stack, I lose time just looking at the ceiling. There's little things here and there that add up. And then, yeah, just lots of tricks that I do are harder on controller than on KVM, but you can still obviously get good enough at them to where you can do them. But yeah, I'm pretty much for C the only controller player. There's other runners but who run C on controller, but not anyone with like a top, almost top time. I'm number 11 on the leaderboards, like... The other people who run C are all like slower than 90 minutes. So like, not people like doing it super competitively at this point. Fuck, I'm a little bit late. Yeah, I'm fucking way late. Holy shit. So this is now like a prayer that was not answered. God damn it. Not even close to being answered. Holy shit. Okay. Back to the tubes. Holy shit. I, I, move! That was stupid. What a dumb way to lose time. How much time did I lose from that? We'll find out. Like two fucking seconds. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. It adds up. Ninja, every time you ask me that, I, it delays it by another day. What the hell? Did something just hit us? Move it back to the airlock. Three frags, holy shit. Uh, love fan, the thing that sticks out to me, I'd have to rewatch it for everything, but uh, the thing that sticks out to me the most is on Silent Cartographer, them saying uh, that Garish Calvin does a Warthog fling to skip an elevator, then they don't even mention the fucking fall down the shaft, which is like the harder part of that whole skip. Uh, you know, and then like, other people on the Halo games that I don't know anything about, like people have complained about like uh, how they did not know what the fuck they were talking about and they worked with like speedrunners and stuff. 
who like double checked their scripts and said, hey, this stuff's wrong, you need to fix it, and then they just don't fucking fix it. Yeah, it's just lazy. Ugh. Just laziness, because they know that, you know, 99% of people who watch the video aren't going to know any better. So instead of, like, fixing things and making things accurate, they just don't. Like, you know, whenever I did my fucking History of CE speedrunning video, I ran that by a bunch of people, and I made, like... Even if it was just, like, a tiny thing, I changed it. Um, on the 100% uh, speedrun video, I had that video fucking done, and I showed it to Sloth, and he asked me to make a change, so I fucking unpublished it, made the change, and then redid it. Because, you know, that stuff matters. Any tips for a new speedrunner? Uh... Don't give up if you don't learn something right away. These things are hard, and it takes Those time. Could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. Uh, no, bitch. The bitch. Witch. You're like that, uh, movie. The bitch. Except it's two Vs. Um, I'm going for a full game, PB. Thank you, Chuck. Shark. For the... Pog. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe not. Thank you, Chungus. The history of speedrunning video between, like, fuck. Between, like, uh, research and editing and all that stuff, I'd say probably, like, three or three to four weeks. Which now I could probably make it faster, but yeah, that's by far my longest video. I know, Evan. Reveal skip. That took me forever to be able to do semi-consistently. I just made it through without any fucking plasmas. Let's go. My PV is what I'm comparing against, so 111.48. It's on the timer. Covenant, on the landing above us. Fucking aim assist. Dragging my reticle away. Fuck. Of course these guys are aggro. This is what I was talking about earlier, but... There I got kind of lucky that I stuck that elite on the road. Hopefully they don't die. Because here, like, right? Like, if I wanted to survive, I would stop and wait to shields. But the goal isn't to live. The goal is to go fast. Ugh. Yeah, that last grunt killing me was my fault. I should have my magnum out. He, if you're talking about an OS hallway, that's just, yeah. Usually he follows you a bit. Sometimes he's followed me, like, all the way to the door you crouch under. Other times he just fucking ignores me and goes after the Marines. Shark, hog. Wait for it. Wait for $4 it. Four dollars ninety nine cents from Dev each. Good luck on the personal best. The Witch is a very good movie. I am a big fan of it, obviously. Thank you for the four ninety nine Witch. Yeah, I watched that when it came out. I thought it was good. Couldn't understand what they were saying in half the movie, but you know. How did I hire Joe? Uh, he's a family friend. Keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? My favorite part about Halo CE. Uh, I don't know, the gunplay. What the hell? Did something just hit us? Left hand, I wouldn't say it's triggered, but like professionally, as someone who makes videos, like 
yeah, don't be lazy with what you do. Like, take a little bit of pride in fucking making videos. And, you know, get stuff right. Especially when you are working with people who can tell you. And who do tell you that you're getting things wrong. This is probably over. How is that the fucking cleanest I've made it through today? And I only had one grenade. That is... That fucking hallway sucks so bad. <laughs> Shit. I thought this elite was the one that died. But he was not... Don't, sh don't alert these guys. Got to get this nade right. Got it. Perfect. Don't know how you lived. Nice. Okay, now for the worst trick in the game. I never get it. The worst gun in C is Needler. Warning, blast doors closing. The Covenant are destroying the... Hands down the Needler. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. Well, a deathless run is just an ideal speed run. Like ideally you never die at all. It looks like the covenant wanted to catch you more. Hey D and D geek. But yeah, I don't know it no, the current record is not deathless, but yeah, there have been deathless records in the past. Like just the regular speedrun record being deathless. I mean the previous one was deathless, I think. Fuck, that is an awful goddamn plasma. But I made up for it. Hey, Mike. Hey, Parks. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. No love, fan, right? because I just do, the, like, I'm not really worried about, like, competing for record or anything. I'm just playing this more so for fun. And because it's good stream content, I think. So, uh, yeah, I just, I'm interested in going as fast as I can go. And I have, I'd rather play on controller, so that is what I'm going to do. Nice man. What's the difference between a PB and a best? If you are referring to the times uh, under the green timer on the left, the PB is what I got in my best full game run. So what I'm running against for full game, I had a 1037. But my best ever at this level is a 1021. So PB is what I had in my full game PB. Best is my best for the particular level I'm on. So the fastest Halo individually I've ever had is a 1021. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. I keep being slow at this opening fucking combat. At least I have four plasmas. Why are you fucking coming at me, you fuck? Okay. Why is fucking goddamn it? Why is this so slow now? Huh. Since my last goal, not too long. 
I don't, I don't remember when exactly. But yeah, I haven't been playing this game very much as of late. How the fuck did I not stick you? I must have missed. Because that's exactly what they are, weakly squeakly. Like, that's literally what they are. The elite death sounds are just like pitch lowered of Johnson, I think. Maybe some other people too. But I know Johnson for sure. Who's the best E speedrunner? Sloth. But it also depends like on what you're talking about exactly. So like if we're talking about like classic tuba trails, it's cam bitter. TNR it's cam bitter. Like we're talking about AOTCR, it's nervy. If we're talking about full game ledge, it's sloth. That may be too low. Nope, we were good. Uh, probably which. Garish like throws up a nade towards the uh, stars here and lands it like by the jackal. Which uh, apparently he got from a segmented run, but I've never seen anyone try it in like a real run except for him. Stuck on the foot. Where the fuck did that grunt go? Where did you go? God damn it. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. Just because I can't hit my shots. I was always a Nickelodeon kid. Right on top of them. Yeah, we're talking about like the greatest ever at C speedrunning. It's still Garish. Like he's, you know, the goat. But um yeah, Garish isn't as good as Sloth, Cambid. Uh nervy and helpless when they're not washed. <laughs> but they haven't played in a while. I'm just into football. Just the NFL too, like I don't like this college football really. Natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. They're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're hey, doing. Hey Josh. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. I was into hockey, like I was a blues fan for a bit. But uh, then after they won the Stanley Cup, like, I kind of just, like, lost interest in them. Especially with, like, the COVID year and everything, like. So, yeah, it's always just been football for me. But, yeah, I did have a hockey phase whenever I was in, like, middle school and high school. Fucking goddammit. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. Not even sub six on the bridge. Uh. I don't know, Viper. We'll see. I would not expect them to move out of Arrowhead. A lot more At least not anytime soon. The captain really gave them hell. I don't think the vote. We can find Captain Keys and the other failing spies, is we have a really matters like they'll probably resistance. just do another thing for the Chiefs and the Chiefs alone instead of the Chiefs and the Royals at some point because if it was just the Chiefs in Arrowhead renovations it probably would have passed hey Max hey helpless good luck Garish that's me who's nervy
favorite Chiefs player of all time not named Mahomes or Kelsey? Good question. No sign of survivors. Hold on. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Probably Jamal Charles. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Uh -oh. I wasn't trying to stick him, but that worked out. favorite player who wasn't on the Chiefs? Probably Aaron Rodgers. Very fun to watch in his prime. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Fucking god damn it. I did not reload, so I only have three shots. Whatever, it's fine. mean to you then sure but yeah the most notable Chiefs player not named Mahomes is Derek Thomas like in a landslide or or Kelsey like Kelsey's would be ahead too but yeah what are you doing we have to stay with the Marines My other fucking elite. God damn, what the fuck is this combat? This is so goddamn bad right now. I am not playing well. This definitely in a reset. We're fine. Why did that not chain react? All right, whatever. They found Captain Keys. It's over. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Yeah, that was an ungood Halo. But it's funny how even my bad Halos now are still sub 11. I remember being so hyped over getting a Halo faster than 11 minutes. It is definitely not Jover just because the color's red. We are A-OK. -okay. Like, just on this level, I have 40 seconds of time saved. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit them, Marines! Go, go, go! The core ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. Yeah, I told Garish that uh, whenever I... Do no resets on YouTube. Holy shit, is the fucking Jackal just gonna kill me? What the fuck? I told Garish that whenever I do no resets on YouTube, I just compare to worse segments, so it's always green, because YouTuber brain, or uh, YouTube commenter brain, and he thought that was funny. See, like that time, I took basically no damage, 
And that last time, the fucking jackal just obliterated me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Shark, Pog. Four dollars ninety nine cents from the beach. Good luck on the belly skip frog man. Thank you, witch. Wow, I fucking suck ass. They're gonna shoot me in the back, but I should be fine. Nope, they panicked again. Yeah, I appreciate the super chat. Thank you, Joe, for reading it out. Cortana to fire team Charlie. Move up on the left. You should be able to flank the enemy. One thing that I changed up here that I do different now. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Is uh, I'll start shooting instead of just trying to backsmack everyone. So the reason why I do start backsmacking everyone once I go in is because I need these enemies to like not be alerted to me. Because if they are, then I won't get reinforcements, and that's 40 seconds of time loss. Because then you have to get them after you clear all the lift waves. So you want them earlier, like right now. She's coming in, and now I can start shooting. But if you're in here firing away too early, then uh, what the fuck? No. Oh. Then uh, you won't get those reinforcements now. You get them after the lift and have to wait. I am a frog. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, there's another grunt alive. I did not pick him enough frags. I think that killed everybody. Get over here, get up here. Get the fuck on the lift. Get on the lift. Nearly fucked that up. I did fuck it up, but I saved it. God fucking damn it, dude. I don't even know how the fuck I did that. That's fucking so bad. I just cannot walk straight and crouch at the same time anymore. No, yeah, I can do this fine. It's not like, oh, man, I can't do the trick. I can do the trick fine. It's just like I'm at a point now where I need to be doing pretty much everything first try. Why the YT streams lately? I don't know. I just felt like it. By Nervy. Who's Nervy? Yeah, Nervy's cool. Makes really good videos. And he's a far better CE speedrunner than I am. Oh, fuck. I hit that pillar, but thankfully not enough to knock me back. Hey, Holly. Uh. 
it took me a couple weeks. Well, not me, like, doing it nonstop. I don't know. It didn't... It's one of the harder tricks, I think, in the game, for me at least, but, um... I don't know. If you, like, really worked at it, you know, I don't know. Everyone's different. Just try it and see. But yeah, I think it's one of the tougher tricks in the game. Fuck me, dude. Now I'm just dead. Holy fucking shit. Ay, ay, ay. And notifications, but they didn't go off. Maybe I'm shadow banned. How? That was a headshot. I guess not, or else you'd be dead. Nah, he's froze. That jackal's still alive. That was a... Why did I just zoom in for no reason? What the fuck am I even doing? That just completely threw off my stick. And there, I tried to shoot again and I fucked up. Yep. Yeah. Ugh, that was bad. Hey, Shiv. Yeah, that was a really bad TNR. No, oh, yeah, bird. There's pretty much almost everything in this game that we do on MCC you can do on the original Xbox. Carrier bump is just a matter of, like, that trick is pure luck. Like... Mission fail. We'll get him next time. I guess the only consideration with the uh, original Xbox and doing carrier bump is that it can crash your game. But whereas on PC we have a patcher for it so that it doesn't crash your game. It applies to more than just a uh, carrier bump though. Like I've had the carrier crash. It is the same cause. I don't know what exactly it is, but like it has to do with like enemy pathing and it can just crash your game on like any level. I, don't keep it low. I am not from Kansas City, but I am from the state of Missouri. Uh, Bird, there are people who run this game on controller, but no one like seriously really like. Well, I don't think anyone who runs it on controller is faster than like a 140, like hour and 40 minutes, I mean. No cow, all the uh, timer stuff is just automatic. Uh. Don't shoot me, you fuck. What the hell? Did something just hit us? So yeah, as far as people running this game on controller, I have the fastest time by a country mile. You set up the automatic timers, you download live split, and then you uh, use the Halo MCC auto splitter. But yeah, there's a uh, there's tutorials and stuff for it on HaloRuns.com on the Discord. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Love fan, it's the preciseness of some of the tricks in the combat, as well as just I can't look as fast with controller as I could with mouse and keyboard, you know. So like um like stick stack. Like there's just you look down at the ground and then you look up at the ceiling like PC play or uh, keyboard and mouse players can do that in fucking a quarter of a second. It takes me like a full second to look up to the ceiling. Shut up Shiv. <laughs> Listen here, poo. But yeah, the um, splitting, so like it changing between levels and stuff, that's all automatic. And then obviously like the numbers it's comparing against are my actual times for my PB. And you can have it compare against different stuff like Garish will compare against just his average for each level. Are you going to meet the talking grunt? I will not know because I'm trying to get a PB. Thank you, Taylor. I appreciate it. Keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? 
But yeah, this is also, like I said, I haven't been playing this game as much as usual. So, uh... This is also, like, partly just to help knock off Rust and get back into it. As a matter of point, so my sum of best down there at the bottom of the timer, that shows, like, if you added up my best times for each level, and I had that in one run, I'd have a 107.52. So that's four whole minutes just about faster than my actual PB, which means, like, if I did just, like, get back into this and do a bunch of, and, like, spend the whole weekend doing runs, I would definitely PB. It's just I haven't put in the time. Is TNR by 20 minutes doable? That, no. Not unless something like major, major is found. Because, yeah, the fastest times now that people will get are just under like 21 minutes. Like, the fastest anyone's gotten is like 21.49 or something. Or like 20.49 or something. And, yeah, there's nothing even potential at the moment on the first three levels to cut that much more time out of it. Yeah, there you go, Taylor. Yeah, even segmented, I'm not sure what they get on what their TNR split is. It probably is sub-20, but not by much. Although, actually, I just forgot about all the, Sir, the belly skip shenanigans on TNR. I totally forgot about that. So, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think. Halo's pretty much the same, except the light bridge skip. POA is like, pretty much the same in a segmented. But then, yeah, TNR is where it goes fucking off the rails. I don't keep it low. Halo is sub nine. God damn. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Do what you do best. Funny, right? <laughs> sub nine IL. Yeah. It's only like a six or seven difference between the IL and the full game. Chief, you do, you do what you do best. Runs by everything. God damn, I just got fucking melted. What the f- Alright. I'm not taking the blame for that. That was the aim assist to drag my reticle away. Okay, well that's still a skill issue. No fucking way I almost got through. <laughs> uh, God damn. the cringiest slash funniest thing in Cody's run. I don't remember everything in that run. I think I blocked that out of my memory. Uh, Winslow, this stream, I did not do a no reset because I just streamed a couple days ago and did one. But actually, that no reset was like the worst one I'd had in a minute. It was like a 119. Which usually when I do no resets, I get like a 115. So yeah, that run was pretty fucking dog. I'd have to Do think, probably best. like, I don't know, probably like the entirety of Two Betrayals where he died, like, what was it, like 20, 21 times? Or actually, no, the uh, bridge fall and AOTCR. That's prob that's, I think, the cringiest part. 
him trying that over and over and eventually have to, having to concede. Shark. Pog. Three Canadian dollars from Michael Letwin, Plankton, good luck on your run, Mr. Frog. Boom. Why did it not work? What the f fuck? Sorry, Michael. Thank you for the three dollars, but yeah, that's, why the fuck did th that's worked before? People have done Plankton. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look into that. But it also, like, Biden didn't read out the top part either, so I don't know. That's all weird. Scammed again. But yeah, you've done one as Plankton before, right? Yeah, Joe's on a smoke break. Joey. Covenant on the landing above us. Don't alert these guys, you fucks. How did that stick them? <laughs> it also it sticked him on like his right side when if it did stick him, it should have hit him on the left. Let's go. We actually got it. Okay, this is now really fucking good. Hopefully I don't die. So this could be a potential gold, but it would require, like, perfection from here on out. Which probably ain't happening. So yeah, I'd need a perfect ending. And this is a gold. Like Fuck, I fucked up. Okay, there goes the gold. <laughs> but this is still really good. Anyway, not with that plasma. Or with everything being fucking alive. And it ends up being a 416. God damn, that was not the ending that I needed. So yeah, perfect ending would be I throw a plasma, I stick one of the elites, he kills everyone around him, and then the frag kills all the other grunts. But yeah, that's still a good POA in route. Thank you, Dest. Oh, Gabriel, I play an older graphics because I think it looks better. Yeah, if you want to hear Joe Biden, it's a $2 USD or higher. Thank you for the good luck. I consider it a double melee. I think I killed both those marines. I should have fucking saved that lap. Or no, I shouldn't have. What am I talking about? That's fine.
yeah, the Halo 2 anniversary graphics are really good. The ones for CE, I think, are actually bad. Fucking plasma's all the way back there. Don't let it die because I don't get nades. I have zero plans on doing a zero shot. Alright, so I'm going to have to get another Plasma at least off of this ship. Or else it is over. The next ship, you have to have a Plasma. This one, you can still do it without a Plasma. It's just really tough. Uh, the next ship, like, you have to have a Plasma Nader. It's not happening. And also, I think that was fast enough, but that may have fucked up and not been good enough. Ship's already coming in. That's a good sign, actually. That I was late for the ship. So had I been in time to shoot out grunts, that would have been like, nope, this shit ain't working. How the fuck did that only kill one goddamn grunt? Holy shit. Let's see if that even was fast enough. On second ship, it was. All right, whatever. Oh, hammer time, aye, aye, aye. I meant the next video would be done tomorrow at the latest. I finished it yesterday. It's up for patrons. I uploaded it for patrons yesterday. It'll be up for all the commoners tomorrow. There you go. There's Nightbot. <sighs> yeah, with the Patreon, so that's one thing. You get the videos early. There's also, uh, you get, like, exclusive stuff. So, like, I uploaded a outtakes and bloopers video from uh, the new one. So, show stuff that I cut out of that video. You get to hear me cuss a lot. And, uh, yeah. There's also, uh, get access to my Discord. So you can, you know, Someone chat with me in the voice chat because I'm so in there a lot, or you can just, you know, send messages and talk to everyone else and stuff. The then, uh, yeah, you get shout-outs at the end of my video, so I show, like, your name at the end with everyone else, with all the other patrons, and... Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom yep. system. I'm going to run a poll, so, uh, the patrons are going to get to vote on, uh, the next video I know what I'm going to do, but the video after that I'm going to run a poll and let the patrons decide which idea I go with. So, uh, yeah, and then of course, just support the channel. You're like, hey, Frog, like the videos, let me throw you a couple bucks a month, then I appreciate it. And then everything else is a benefit on top of that. Alright, this is better than the last Halo where I didn't get drop skip at least. Oh yeah, if uh, you can't do the Patreon, then uh, yeah, obviously there's other things that you can spend your money on than giving it to some YouTuber, right? So like, yeah, no one should feel like obligated to join. Just something if you want to and if you can. I have allergies, Michael. Least favorite enemy in the Bungie games? The Jackals. Jackals in every Halo game are dog. I 
I don't think I have any frags. The drones in Halo 2 are really bad, but they're fine in the other games. No, Jake, just uh, YouTube. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. What the fuck was that fling? Ain't no way. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. <laughs> Yeah, if your question, I don't remember what your question was. If it was all games, then it's uh, definitely the Watchers from Halo 4. Or I guess they're in Halo 5 too. But, uh, yeah, I think your question was just Bungie games, then yeah, I'd say just Jackals in general. The fuck? Actually, I take that back. It's the pure forms from Halo 3. Those are the worst. Yeah, knights are, I mean, them teleporting is annoying, but, like, yeah, watchers are the worst of it. Marines are concealed in those rocks. That was a headshot. Nice. Needed that. Cairo Santos. The Brazilian Janikowski. The armless flood on keys is fine as long as you learn them a nip, Shiv. Yeah, keys is my least favorite in this game, casually. There are some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Thoughts on the new NFL kickoff rule. I love it. Watch it! Why are they not shooting? Thank you. What are you doing? They heard me. We have to stay with the Marines. This is Pearl Hammer. Cortana, do you read? Respond. We reach you, Pearl Hammer. But we were unable to save the Marines. We're going to try to find the final lifeboat now. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Get up so I can kill you again. Am I on time? I Holy shit, I'm actually on time for this ship. Let's go. See if I throw those plasmas right. I don't get to throw them very often. We got it. Let's go. I am rarely on time for that ship. I need to work on that. New traffic on the Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. The Truth and Reconciliation. A ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers up spin. Yeah, the tricks in this game, for the most part, well, like, you know, the out of bounds stuff. Like, obviously, there's some things that people could probably find themselves. Our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Well, people did, like, early on. Like, a lot of, few of the tricks were, you know, found, like, 20 years ago when this game came out. Over 20 years ago. But yeah, stuff like belly skip, that ain't something you're finding out on your own. <laughs> The core issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that various troops and supplies. Okay, let's not just get fucking immediately destroyed this time by a random jackal that usually doesn't shoot at you at all. Hit a marines. Go, go, go! The core ain't paying us by the hour. Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the covenant position without being spotted. Fuck. Also don't know why I just switched. That just fucking cost me. I'm dead. God fucking damn it. That's entirely on me. Shut up, sloth and red, I can't. Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the covenant position without being spotted. How many fucking shots are you gonna take? That was a blue elite too. 
I kept hitting him in the shoulder. See, Shiv, I waited for the jackals, and they came to me, and I got them both. And now these people aren't going to be alerted. So, you know, it's really easy to just hit them. Fuck me, I fucked it up. Never punished. Where's this elite at? <laughs> he just never got alerted. Holy shit, I almost just walked off the edge. I almost pulled a Cody. That's the second time I've died at the very start of this level. Today, in runs, which that is something that just should not be happening. Cody cheated so we could run, exactly. Fuck you, Jackal. You overcharged me at the last second. I could be dead. I'm not. I am gonna get that health pack a little bit early and scuffed. Shit, I thought that elite got chain reacted. Now this is thrown off. I'm short, I think, two frags? Holy shit. Fucking die! Fucking die! Get off the lift. Okay, this is so fucking Jover. This is so unbelievably Jover at the moment. Oh shit. Get away from the plasma, you fucking idiot. Okay, yeah, it's over. God damn it. That was so bad. That was so unbelievable. Then I can't hit the fucking hunters. It's over. It's so over. I should just revert if I miss the hunters like that. Yeah. I missed again! What the fuck? Why can I not hit the hunter? But yeah, I definitely lost too many marines. Oh shit, I didn't. Okay, whatever. I'm down by a lot, but whatever, we can make it work. Yeah, that was the, those were the worst lift waves I have had in a minute. I'm not looking at the fucking spot. Hey, Gerald. Shark. Pog. Really? Two dollars from Waxisack. Love you, bud. Deep it up. Waxy sack. Interesting name. Yeah, it's over.
All right, see, clean, perfect. Exactly how I wanted to do it. <laughs> I'm dead. That was close. I just wanted to practice that grenade jump. That run was completely dead. <laughs> as soon as I fell back in bounds, that run was over. The worst Bungie Halo game, either Reach or ODST. Hey, Hark. Yeah, T-Har, try not to kill the run challenge. But also, when you say game in its entirety, right, like, that means every aspect of the game. So, like, 3 has, of the original trilogy, 3 has my least favorite campaign, but, you know, the multiplayer, I think, is great. You can't hide, sir. The captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. Whereas, like, this game, I love the campaign. I'm not a big fan of the multi. But, yeah, like you say, it's the weakest story, at least. But, like, when you say the game, that means the whole game, right? Not just, like, the campaign or the multi. I don't keep it loaded, so you'll have to find ammo as you go. Well, I love ODST, but, yeah, it's three hours long, and... There's no Those matchmaking, there's firefight, you but, best. you know. Uh, yeah, ODST's problem is just that there's, it's really short. Yeah, Reach's campaign, I think, is the least fun to play of all the Bungie games, and then it's multi, I think, leaves a lot to be desired. The best thing about Reach is just how much stuff there is. You know, like, compared to this game, like, Reach has a ton of fucking content. Assist. <laughs> Fuck. Can't do that grenade jump now. Covenant on the landing above us. Move. How did that stick that- I don't know, the fucking hitboxes are so fucked. <laughs> Watch the replay, that was way to the left of the grunt and then it sticks him on the right shoulder. How did that not work? Check that one, Wacky. Was what was wrong with that?
Looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you napping. Uh, yeah, this is a fine POA. It's not the best, but it's fine. At this point, I'm just happy to get out of POA. Also, I still have the ending to do, so let me not speak too early. I'm jinxing myself here. Alright, 422, whatever. Chief? Uh, Chief, can you hear me? At last. At last. Are you alright? Are you all right? Can, you can you move? The others. The impact. There's nothing we can do. Reach is ahead of three's multi for you, Hark. Dang. Warning. I've detected multiple One of the projectile truthers. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky. Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Uh. Uh, Hark's a reach kid explains a lot. Cosmic Cosmiception, it's not all of a sudden. At the time, Reach was the most, like, polarizing game. Like, it was still mostly liked, but, yeah, at the time, Reach was the most polarizing game. It's not like, oh, all of a sudden, the community just turned against Reach. Like, no, this has always been the case since it came out. People didn't like the armor abilities. They didn't like Bloom. They didn't like the maps and the fact that they're all, like, drawn from different environments and some of them don't really work. And and uh, the over-reliance on, like, Forge World maps, so you get a bunch of multiplayer maps that all look the same. The other Marines are dead. Should be fine, but we'll just stick them just to be safe. We got plenty of needs. What the fuck? Did I not stick him? Someone look at the replay. Didn't I stick both the fucking elites? What the fuck? I guess not. I think he went through his legs. That's like the third run in a row where I've had one of those elites alive. That may have been too early. I should have thrown the first plasma. I thought I was too late to throw it. I was not. I don't think this is working unless I kill both elites. I did. Let's see. Okay, we got it. I'm going to fucking throw up a prayer nade. We're going to see if I'm garish. That's not going to do shit. <laughs> Why are you just standing there, Elite? That's weird. He didn't rush around the corner. I should have just shot him. Oh, well. I thought Invasion was a really cool idea. 
It was cool whenever it came out, but yeah, that kind of got old. The magnum ammo just disappear. What the fuck? Oh, I picked it up. I'm done. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. Those lifeboats make it down. Huh. Right on top of them. Bellhammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can see the Best Halo of the day so far. Roger, Cortana. I played Warzone a bit when it came out. I remember nothing about it except that I didn't really like it. cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the What if the cave network. was a natural formation? Actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Imagine if Bungie Master didn't abandon Chief, Halo. Halo would be destiny. System to monitor their chatter. Hello, Nikolai. I've never watched C's terminals. I could not care less. Fuck. traffic on the Covenant battle network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, wart, we have a wart, chance wart. to an effective resistance. Probably a rocks. Yeah, that's the underrated thing about uh, Bungie and like uh, when people complain about like Infinite's monetization and stuff, which don't get me wrong, right? Like locking most of the customization behind paywalls is stupid. But uh, people always like seem to forget that when Halo 3 was in its prime back in the day, like you were locked out of playlists unless you bought the campaign, the DLC that was out. So like uh, you couldn't do like ranked playlists unless you had all the DLC. So either like you bought the map packs as they came out, or you fucking bought ODST and got the disc that came with it. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. And I'm guessing it's because a lot of people like their first game was Reach, where that wasn't a thing, or uh, they came along later. But yeah, that was the big thing. You had to be up to date on all the map packs or else you couldn't really play. Yes, because those playlists had the map packs. So yeah, I would say like uh, on the playlist it would say like whatever DLC was required. So yeah, there was the heroic, legendary, and mythic map packs and cold storage came out i think that one was free for everyone if i remember right and then i think there was like a mythic 2 or something like that i think there were like four big map packs. maybe there were only three i don't remember i'm old and then yeah heroic they eventually made free i don't know about the other ones Blinks. I don't know. I know that Heroic became free, but I don't remember Legendary or Mythic becoming free. At least not like while that game was the main game. There 
As I remember, the only way that I could, like, play Legendary and Mythic maps were with my ODST disc. Because my dad didn't want to pay for the DLC. <laughs> Shoot, stacker, shoot. God damn, I am so fucking late. With all those fucking elites. That sucked ass. That's the last of them. Roger that. I'm on my way. New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. The Truth and Reconciliation. The ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. Yeah, that sucked. <sighs> well, Snowbound was, because that was just a regular mathic ship with the game. But yeah, Snowbound was in the beta. High Ground was in the beta. I think Valhalla was in the beta. I don't remember. What else? I do remember those three, though. High Ground, Snowbound, and Valhalla. Once we get inside the ship, right. we should be able to lock Let's up the not die at the opening this time. I swear to fucking god if I do, I'm Hit deleting my account. Go, go, go. The core ain't paying us by the hour. Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the covenant position without being spotted. My dad had a friend who bought Crackdown 3 just, or was it Crackdown 3 or the original Crackdown? I don't remember, but whatever game it was, he bought it just for uh, the Halo 3 beta. And I was like six, so I did not get to play, but I did get to watch. They so slow getting out. No fucking shot, I can't hit him. God damn it. And of course I get a bunch of divers the next time. Bunch of hell divers. Instant wave, love to see it. I don't know if I have another wave or not. 
Holy shit, Johnson. Yep, I had another wave. Okay, goddamn. Okay, stay on the lift. Stay on the lift, all three of you. Stay on the lift. Yeah, someone commented on my ranking the levels video that uh, they would put library in A tier. They said another one too, so I don't think they were trolling. Oh, it was library and two betrayals they would put in A tier. Which, yeah, I disagree with, but whatever. That's definitely uh, not a take you see very often. Almost fucked that up. Okay, well, I fucked up the fall, but whatever. That doesn't matter. Good thing I had enough health to not die from that fall. That would have been sad if I die from falling back in bounds. I've done it before. It's been a while. This is a fine TNR so far. And of course I hit him in the shoulder. Die! Holy shit! God fucking damn it, dude. What is this fucking gameplay right now? This is so goddamn bad. What the fuck are you doing? Why are why the fuck are you, is everyone hiding? What the fuck? That's all my fault. Yeah, one of the bridges of all time. Yeah, that was really bad on my part. The AI didn't help, but yeah, that was all my fault. I can't see the stealth elite. Wait a second, that's the point. Shit. He missed. Then I missed. Where are you, motherfucker? Aye, aye. That was fucking dog shit. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. How are you not fucking dead? Okay, well. Fucking and I'm stuck in a reload. Yeah, that's just. I haven't practiced only being at only having one sniper shot left. I didn't know how to fucking handle that. I 
How the fuck? Just yellow SC after this, why not? Oh shit. That was fucking dog shit. God damn. That was a nine minute TNR, holy shit. Marty, he's killing the Marines. How do they believe that what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island? The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out quick. Touchdown, Pennant Marines! So yeah, we'll uh, try the yellow stick stack, and then after that we'll try... Tri triple nade, which I'm not good at, and we will uh, just see what happens. If I get both those things first try, we'll keep it alive, otherwise we are going back to the tubes. I also gotta do the Warthog playing and stuff first try. Am I from New York? No. CE's AR is, like, it's really good on lower difficulties. On legendary, like, it's not good, but, you know, you can still do stuff with it. But yeah, on, like, easy and normal, it just tears shit up. Even heroic, you can you could beat the whole game with just the AR. Hey, Grave. 07, indeed. It looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. I don't know, this run's not dead. Like, I had a run that was plus, like, 140 out of AOTCR a couple weeks ago, where I brought it all the way back to where I was green going into keys. So the run's not dead, but it is on life support. In the cliff wall. I'll bet the silent cartographer is somewhere inside that facility. Covenant are putting up a real fight. Cartographer must be here. Don't let them lock the doors. Elite's still alive. Holy shit. Elite's still alive. That's not good. Holy shit. How do I mess up the crouch fall that bad? I'm not far back enough, I think. This is gonna be weird. No, this is fine. I am too far to the left, but whatever. Make it! Fuck! <laughs> so close. Alright. No, Darren, you have missed nothing. <sighs> oh well. That's how it goes. But yeah, that triple nade jump, that second grenade jump. Uh, yeah, Darren, I don't need to, like... I thought I mentioned this to you before. I don't need to be I don't need to be fucking heckled during my streams whenever I'm trying to run. Um you're a mod, you should know better than that. Um But uh yeah, that second grenade jump that I did there. That one I usually don't do in full game unless I'm on like a bad run because I'm not good at it. That's one that I need to practice and like get better at. Um But yeah, it only saves like 8 seconds, but still All right. 
Back to the tubes. Back to the first level. Let's get out first try. Nah, no, that's uh, that's how Halo C runs go. Like it's just a lot of PLA over and over again. If uh, I don't know, we'll see how much longer I go. I could do like an easy run, just to uh, I mean I could do a no reset ledge run, but that I'm not really interested in. My easy PB is completely free. It's like uh, it's slower than my ledge run. My best easy time is like a 112 something. So, uh, my easy PB is, like, I should be able to get. But, um, so I don't know. I could try that if, uh, ledge keeps spinning out. Shut up, helpless. Rip Bozo. Favorite NBA team. I don't watch the NBA. If I did, it would be the Indiana Pacers. Okay, we're fine. He bumped into me. Holy shit, we're fine. Spartan assault. That should work. Nice. This is a pretty good pace POA. Life pods are launching. We should hurry. God fucking damn it. I don't know why I didn't shoot the orange current first. That was dumb on my part. So, uh, that grunt being alive, that cost me time. For reasons that I will not be explaining at the moment. <laughs> Holy shit. I will never speed run any game on Lasso. I'll play Lasso, but no, I'm never gonna do a speed run on Lasso. All right, I'll take it, 420. Oh my God, it's like the weed number. Let's go. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? The others. It's red, though. Even though it's less than a second, the run is over. Is he a major thunderbox? Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. My friends with Halo Completionist, I do not know Silver at all. I watched some of his guides back in the day, but... Yeah. I don't think there's any, like, Halo creators that I would say I'm friends with, unless there's some, uh, someone I'm completely missing. I interact with Mint Blitz probably the most. We're not really friends. Beacon over the next hill. You should check to see if there are any survivors.
gonna have to use an aid on. Hey, hey, stop! Why are you running at me? Naked Eli did an interview on Mythic Tyrant's channel not too long ago where he talked about what he's up to. He's uh he's living life. Okay, that was, first two ships have been pretty much perfect, so we will see how badly we mess up this ship. Fucking get to the goddamn spot! Okay, I am not in the right spot. Still got the bright nades, let's go. Holy fucking shit, are you kidding? That's not gonna fucking work. It worked, I got lucky. How the fuck did that work? That is so lucky on my part. So there's supposed to be another ship over there, but I just skipped it. This is uh, called Drop Skip. But, uh, yeah, I got extremely lucky that it still worked. Don't have a plasma. Usually you would, uh, stick that elite. Yeah, this is a pretty nice Halo so far. That bringing me shoot in case he gives us frags, which he just gave us two, so perfect. Exact. That's best case scenario. Uh, there's a chance that at some point my webcam just stops working and starts like glitching out. So if that happens, let me know. By the way, because it's about that time when it may happen. Furthest I have gotten today, I played Silent Cartographer. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant battle network. Actually well, that last Marine, I just explained why I shoot him. The channels. Marines earlier, yeah. To skip dialogue and to do us. drop skip. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. This Marine in the gunner seat, I'm going to shoot because he can block you at cliff whenever you do a fling. It's not the biggest deal if he's alive, but yeah, I can mess you up, so we just shoot him anyway, just to be safe. A Pixel Refuge 24. This cave is not a natural formation, really. It looks for me. It looks natural. There's new traffic on the Covenant battle network. Hi, Ferret. Hi, Eret. The captain really can Ferret tell. The. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Let's go. You're here for the rest of Halo. Let's go. Um, so Leo, you can get the Banshee pilots ejected on this level. The problem is that all the 
banshees on this level are coded so that they're not pilotable by the player. So even if you walk by an open banshee, it just won't let you enter it on this level. They're all just not pilotable. There's no way to get around it. Lifeboat detected. No sign of survivors. Yeah, if you could, that would be pretty cool. You uh, can do Banshee Grab on Maw, so with the Banshees that shoot down Foe Hammer, you can actually get one of them. It's just that it's slower than uh, just driving to the end by like 20 seconds. I don't know what gondola dialogue you were talking about, Switz. I can't think of it, whatever you're referring to at the moment. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Why don't the Marines turn on you? Or on me? Um, because of how the aggro in this game works, we have it down to a freaking science. So basically there they didn't turn on me because they were in combat with the Covenant while I needed them. So like, they just consider that accidental. The, um, so shooting marines and running them over versus just like uh, nading them, it counts it different towards like the marines being angry at you. And then um, it also factors in whether or not they're fighting the Covenant or not. So right now I was waiting until they started shooting at the Covenant because now they won't get mad at me for shooting them. They still get mad, but not as mad. Like if they weren't fighting the Covenant, the marines would be turned against me right now. But yeah, it's real nerdy and like there's a lot to it. There's videos breaking it down in depth. But yeah, it's, that's basically it. Yeah, it's kind of like Blackjack. Like, the uh, first area, whenever we're doing drop skip, we're, like, keeping a tab in our head of where the Marine aggro at and what we need to do to kill all the Marines while not having them aggroed. There are some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Fuck. So yeah, we're like, uh, CE is like the really nerdy game. Halo 2, they just bang rocks together. Shoot! Shoot! He's right the fuck there! Shoot him! What the fuck are you doing? There's another one alive on this side. Oh, shit. I didn't have the fucking nades. Alright, whatever. Ugh. New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. The truth and reconciliation... All right, well, this is going to be scuffed as fuck. I haven't had a good Warthog launch in a while. Like, let's fucking... Let's go. Let's have a good one. That sucked ass. Uh, gonna need a montage. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Oh, this is fine. 10.8, I am A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, I don't like that uh, video, the original one where I play that song nonstop. It was what, like my fifth video on this channel, fifth or sixth, by Ferret, where I played the montage song after every fucking level. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implant. I think it got old after like the first, but also it's not my song, right? Like the memorable thing about my video is something that I didn't do, you know? should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle. That was a one-shot. Was that a blue elite or a red elite? You can one-shot red elites. That was a blue elite. You can one-shot red elites, 
in this game on ledge, but uh, you have to hit them like just perfect. It has to like intersect like two different parts of them because you're not supposed to be able to, but you can if you hit them just right. Sometimes that guy will be a red elite and I'll one shot him and it always feels cool. without using grenades a lot so we couldn't do any of the grenade jumps or anything. POA would be completely different because a lot of that is clearing areas with grenades and then running through them. Even with the out of bounds stuff. That doesn't fuck this up. Cortana to Echo 419. Requesting reinforcements at our position. So here you can actually like kill too many grunts too fast. And uh the waves start coming down the lift before the dropship, which is really bad. Alert. Covenant dropships are inbound. But uh yeah, this was the opposite. This was too slow. Where the fuck Okay, there you are. Oh god fucking damn it dude, really? How is like no one dying from my nades? Where what am I doing with my nades incorrectly? so bad. Alright, stay on the lift. Do not leave the fucking lift. God fucking damn it. No fucking shot, dude. I'm just looking too far left. And that's fucking everything up. Just a little bit too far left, and it's just fucking everything up. That's the second time I've done that today. Just look at the spot, frog. Hey, yeah, that checkpoint you always get. Um, so that one's hard-coded, so no matter what's happening... Like, you could be stuck by a grenade, you could be falling to your death out of the map. Once the Marine's done saying his dialogue, you always get that checkpoint. So we try to time it before we do the up warp. Because sometimes the up warp do doesn't work and you have to, like, readjust. But yeah, that uh, checkpoint you always get, no matter what. But yeah, you can mess that up and, like, screw up the trick and then get the checkpoint and then you're just fucked. So that's why one reason why you also want to wait in a full game run. Uh, 
Ay, 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 this is bad now, but it's whatever. We can still make it work. Let's not have the fucking bridge of all time again. Why are you jumping at me? I was trying to get them both with one. How are you alive from two melees? See a dandy. Oh shit. <laughs> Bounce off their shields. Yes, this is world record pace. That's too short. So that sticky, we're trying to stick the elite, which, you know, even though he's a goalie, it's still an insta-kill in this game. The shields are already down, what the fuck am I doing? I didn't need to overcharge him. We should head back to the shuttle bay and Fuck. Call for evac. There we go. Sniping that marine before the enemies come is very important. Alright, we're red, but it's fine. This is a good run still. Very much alive. Alright, so after this run, if this run dies, uh, then I'll do an easy run, and then we'll call it a stream. So yeah, easy does have a lot of differences versus uh, legendary. And like I said, my easy PB, like, I don't run easy that often. My easy PB is, like, totally free. Like, I should be able to beat it. <laughs> yeah, this says, uh, if y'all, anyone here hasn't seen a silent cartographer speedrun before, this is, I think, the coolest level in the game. Yeah, no Banshee on AOTCR, that's probably the biggest difference. There's an ice cream truck outside. I don't know if that's being picked up or not. It's like do 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 do. It's really loud. I am a frog. Looks can be deceiving. So uh, jumping across that beach instead of just walking actually saves time. You move slightly faster, just slightly faster, um, by jumping up or down slopes. And this beach is obviously not flat. If you're just walking on flat four floor, uh, jumping doesn't matter. But yeah, on like slope surfaces, jumping saves time. Yes, Leo, I will at some point. Um, Jake, I'm talking about on easy you can't. So on easy, the Banshee just doesn't spawn. He only spawns on heroic and legendary. So that's one of the main differences between the easy and legendary runs. Is no Banshee on AOTCR.
You gotta be fucking kidding me. No way I fucked that up, dude. No fucking way I just messed that up. Don't let them lock the doors. God fucking damn it. That's so stupid. Oh, I don't get jackals, I'm gonna go for triple nade. If I get jackals, I'll just run up. Oh, I didn't fucking get enough height. So close. I'm running against a bad SC though, so it is what it is. But now this is also a bad SC. <laughs> All right, I'll go for triple nade. I should get a checkpoint. I don't know why I'm not. Nah, fuck. I keep going too goddamn early, dude. Hold up. That's a jump that can only be done on ledge. On any other... So on legendary, you actually have more health. Like, each difficulty, you get more health. And legendary is the only one where you have enough health to do that jump. The other ones, you just die. Hold up. Uh, this jump I usually don't do. I only tried it because that SC was bad. But yeah, this jump I'm not good at. So I usually don't even try it. And of course now I'm getting it that it doesn't matter. Nope, one shot. So yeah. Sometimes that happens where you only fire once and then you throw the nade and then it's just over. But yeah, I don't know. That's something... Oh, I saved it. That's something I just need to work on. Because that is a trick. A lot of times you just won't have a checkpoint for that, so it's like you have to get it. Nope. Hold up. Uh, hold up. I'm going to change the stream title because I'm going to do an easy run. I don't want the YouTube commenters to get mad at me. Because then, at, if you don't change the title, then every single comment is, Huh, this doesn't look like legendary to me. Alright. So yeah, we'll just do an easy run and then we'll call it. My eyes. So yeah, easy has a lot of differences versus ledge. It's still a cool run. Like people think like, oh, easy. Well, you know, it doesn't have like all the, you know, it's not tough or anything. Like being a top easy runner is just as difficult as being a top ledge runner. Easy is easier to get in, get into than legendary because there isn't the combat element. Like you're never going to have like, oh, I missed a shot. Now I'm dead. That's not a thing on easy. But on easy definitely like still takes a lot of skill because everyone you're competing against on easy runs is also playing on easy difficulty, right? And, you know, whenever you do a speed run, you're not really competing against the game. You're competing against, like, everyone else's time and trying to get a good time relative to everyone else. So, um, yeah, easy runs, like, becoming, like, a top five easy runner just as tough as being a top five ledge runner. But getting into doing easy runs is easier, if that makes sense. There's a lower barrier to entry. But yeah, Legendary is like the sexy one because it's cooler to say I beat the game fast on Legendary than it is saying I beat it fast on Easy. The most difficult thing to learn on Easy? Hold up. Uh, I don't know, because it is still just tricks, like, you know, like the uh, Legendary one. If you mean like a specific trick that's only on Easy, say I'm skip. So you can actually skip the uh, second part of this. You can do a skip here, out of bounds. And it's okay, insanely tough. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, like right now, I could be out of bounds skipping this part, but I don't know how to do Sam skip. 
Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic uh, my fastest easy time is 112.54, so slower than my fastest ledge time. So like I said, I don't run easy very much. Like, my easy time is very beatable. <laughs> For me, that is. Like, it's still, I think, like, top 20. Like, it's not, like, a bad time, but it's a time that if I did run easy a lot, like, I'd be able to beat pretty quickly in Thunderfall. Uh, no, because on easy, the cryo bump, the cryo tube doesn't, like, smush on you. So yeah, cryo bump is ledge only. Okay, let the run begin. Um, there I also did something called, uh, yeah, the flashlight cope. That's an old cope strat that does not work. Um, so one thing I did there I didn't even mention, I did bully strats. So you saw, like, I ran to specific spots and looked down at the floor and looked at the crewman and stuff. And he, like, didn't walk all the way around the thing. So that's called bully strats. Um, it saves, like, 10 seconds. And also, because I'm on controller, here's an advantage of controller. I didn't have to do the inverted look tutorial. Um... So, because the game only looks at what your keyboard and mouse settings are, so I can just change my keyboard and mouse settings to be inverted, and even though my controller isn't inverted, it just says, oh, you're inverted, so we don't need to reverse, revert your looking pitch or whatever and have you do the inverted test. So there's a small benefit to controller. I completely forgot what difficulty I was on for a second. I was ready to fucking battle. Bruce, that elite is there on... Easy and normal. I don't know about heroic, probably not, but an easy normally definitely is. What the hell? Did something just hit us? I forgot there wasn't gonna be an elite. So um for this level, like the differences are mostly just pathing, so here instead of going through the barricade, I'll just run right through here. I am like selective about what gun I have out at a given time. So like here I'm gonna have grunts, let the AR out. Here I'm gonna keep the marine hey Blaine. Here I'm gonna keep the Marines out of my way, so let that out. Up here I'm gonna get an elite who may block me. So it's basically just like what's the best gun for whoever could potentially block my path. Is and then I just have whatever weapon is it is gonna be. Uh no Leo, the floors are way too big to do a grenade jump up. There's also, you don't have any maids, but that doesn't really us. matter. So yeah, uh, easy, like, I'm just trying to walk straight and not strafe. And um, I'm just trying to take the shortest path that I can to everything. So I'm um, like, whenever people are just starting out, like, you'll see them and they'll... Oh, fuck you, Keys. So there I got Keys trolled. So Keys fucked up the dialogue and now the store's gonna take longer to open. How long have I been doing this for? I started learning last February for a video I made called Can I Beat Halo C Legendary in Under 90 Minutes? And then uh, so I learned the game in February for that and then uh, uploaded the video in March and then I just never stopped running. Outside the access ways. Activating motion counter. Let's find a safe exit. But yeah, if I put more time into it, like I could be even more, I could be even better than I am. But um... Nah, not two years ago. Like, a little over a year. Hi, Alberto. I am good. Thank you for asking. Like what type of vids was I doing before speedrunning? Well, you can go to my channel and sort by old oldest, and you can see for yourself, Bruce. Yep. I mean, I was still doing... I started with Dead Space stuff, then I did a couple of Halo videos. But yeah, like, my speedrun video wasn't that long. Like, it was maybe my tenth video. Like... Because, yeah, I don't have that many videos up. Yeah, if you would like to watch my older videos, you can. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I doing it this way? That was scuffed as fuck.
76, that also counts shorts, and that counts live streams, too. I don't know how many, like, right, at least I think it does. Easy, I don't think I've fucking... It's definitely, it definitely counts shorts and live streams, too. I don't have 76 long-form videos, for sure. I don't know how many I have, but it's not 76. I recommend moving into those hills. We're lucky. The Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Huh. <sighs> What was that maneuver with the weapon switching? Well, watch this. So right here, you can see I have low AR ammo. You double tap reload, switch weapons. Switch back. I got full ammo now. So it could have been that, or it could have just been me switching weapons for no reason at all. Because I do that too sometimes. But yeah, that's that's called a backpack reloading. Here I also fucked up. I meant to trigger before I did the grenade jump so that there'd be enemies and stuff here, because you try to get early plasmas off of them. 59. That's still a lot. That's still... That's a little bit more than I would have guessed. I would have guessed, like, around 50. So here I'm not going to nade the marines, I'm just going to shoot them because I don't give a shit if they turn against me. Because it's easy. So one thing that you may overlook that I have trouble with doing because I'm ledge brained is you do these ships differently, or you do this ship differently. You do the first and the third different than you would on ledge. So here we go to that side first. We don't use any nades. The main difference with the easy and ledge um, on this level is the next half of the mission when you have to go through the three areas and save the marines. That is all like completely different. This ship is identical to ledge, except there's one fewer elite, so it's way easier. I don't have a plasma for the next ship. I should be fine, though. If this was on Legend, I didn't have a plasma, I'd just be completely fucked. I'm gonna use this frag. So um, the next ship comes in when there are two or fewer Covenant alive from the previous ship. So you just have to make sure that after you throw your nades and stuff, there's either two or fewer alive. And then um, you're supposed to have another ship that comes in over there, but because of killing the Marines and how fast we cleared those last three, or the last two ships, uh, we just skip ahead to this one. So that's called drop skip. And so that's why, on ledge, if I didn't have the plasma, I could not have cleared enough enemies fast enough on that ship. But on easy, you can because it's easy. Yeah, easy, just chilled out and have a good time playing some Halo. Where the fuck are you going? Okay. I don't know why I did that. I don't think I needed to do that. I think I'm good on grenades. Yeah, three, whatever, we're fine. Those lifeboats make it down. The Covenant are going to be right on top of them. Bowhammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. How the fuck do I keep missing? Okay, Charlie, <laughs> the warthog deployed. Saddle up and give them hell. Roger, Bowhammer. Stand by to evac survivors and transport them to safety. The game doesn't think I know how to play. It's giving me the tutorials. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant battle network. They're actually brought I would not accept a GDQ invite, no. Unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. 
The fucking ice cream truck is back. Forgot. I'm on easy, not ledge. I'm on easy, not ledge. Ugh. The next level TNR is really fun and easy. There's new traffic on the Covenant battle map. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. Then um, SC is pretty much the same. AOTCR is completely different. Guilty Spark is pretty much the same. Guilty Spark is actually a little bit tougher on easy. At least the opening part. Yeah, I'm, make, I'm making Legendary look like easy right now. Let's go TF2. Congrats. But yeah, it is funny how fucking my legendary time is faster than my easy time. My easy time is I, 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 not the best. Lifeboat detected. No sign of not as good as it could be. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. What the fuck is this driving? Holy shit. We should search the interior uh, the beginning of Guilty Spark is tougher because of how grenade jumps work in this game. Fuck me, what am I doing? Uh, because of how grenade jumps work in this game. God fucking damn it, I don't have aggro. So there I actually want the Marines to get angry at me, which did not happen and is unfortunate, but whatever. Um... The, uh, so whenever you do a grenade jump in this game, it puts you at zero health. If you have full shields and full health and you do a grenade jump on easy, um, you will have zero health afterwards if the grenade's, like, at your feet, which if you're doing a, a grenade jump, it will be. Um, so that means on easy, on Guilty Spark, you're doing this grenade jump in the reveal room. If there are enemies alive, if any of them fucking taps you with anything while you're doing the grenade jump, you're dead. So that's why, because, um... The higher the difficulty, the more health you have, which makes no sense. But yeah, like on Legendary, you have way more health than you have on Easy. And on Easy, you can... On any of the grenade jumps we do, like, you can die. You can just be insta-killed by an enemy if they just happen to shoot you. Okay, so this is different. So on Ledge, we uh, just rely on the Covenant to kill these guys for us. On Easy, obviously, they won't because they suck. So we uh, come in here and do it ourselves. And that rebel was kind of slow, so I'm going to do something. Actually, no. Or maybe I should. I have no idea how each... Yeah, I'm talking about C. I don't know anything about Halo 2. But yeah, with uh, grenades in this game, it's not the damage, it's the health. What are you doing? Your health being different. With the Marines. We need to find the other two lifeboats. There are some marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Fall back! Fall back! Whoa. Anyone wants to... Okay, there we go. I'll call in a dropship to pick them up. Warning, I've picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is I don't think I reloaded. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command Hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. How are you alive? Alright, whatever. That was good. Let's go, Ferret. That's the last of them. Roger that. I'm on my way. 
Bruce, it's called Live Split. So yeah, it's a program on uh, the computer. Ugh. I like this game's legendary the best, but obviously I'm biased because I'm the best at this game compared to the other games. Yeah, I like this game's legendary. I wanted to learn to speedrun this game because I like its campaign the best. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Okay, I thought that was a good halo. I lost two seconds. Two and a half seconds. The enemy has captured Captain Keys and are holding This level's really fun and easy. The truth and reconciliation. In mental guns, I am good. Uh, Bruce, well, you don't have to have the timer, like, uh, you could just manually, I mean, you would have to just manually time it, but, yeah, you can just look at your video in the, uh, in an editor and look at the timing rules and just see what time it is. But yeah, they're Xbox runners, not for CE, like, CE is pretty much all PC at this point, but for the other games, there's lots of Xbox runners. You can't have live split too, just for yourself and like use it to, uh, you can like manually split and stuff. But, um, yeah. Live split, like, it's a general time. It times for you, but. Well, the MCC timer is not correct, Cosmic Exception. On some of the games, yes, they, they just go off the MCC timer on CE, no. Because they want to have everything consistent between the different versions of the game. And the MCC timer is not consistent with the original game in terms of timing. Cortana to fire team Charlie. So yeah, people will do that. They'll um, submit MCC times as their times, and um, it'll just be completely fucking wrong. <laughs> like, um, the Bane one is keys. So for keys, we count the cutscene in the middle when you're like punching Captain Keys in the face. The MCC timer doesn't count any cutscene, so people will think they've world recorded keys. And that gets submitted a lot like, hey guys, I think I just got a new keys world record. It's like, no, you didn't. I think that's everyone. That should be. Halo Legendary Experience, uh, those are, yeah, those are recorded after the fact, based on, like, notes that I take during the runs. Why the fuck do I not have a plasma pistol? What am I doing? The latest, the, uh, mod video that I did, that is live, and the new video that's coming out tomorrow, that's live. So I've changed how I do those videos, and, like, if I make another Legendary Experience one, it's gonna be live. It'll be a mix of live and not live stuff. Because, yeah, live, doing it live uh, is way easier for me than, like, having to go back and add stuff and all this stuff. And then I'm, I, also, I also think it's better to do it live now that I've done it. Yes, skulls are not allowed because then the gameplay would be different. And, yeah, we're... Like I said, trying to keep it consistent, like, you want to be able to time this versus, like, someone doing a Gearbox run. Or, uh, Xbox run or something. Yeah, or not even that, but just, like, yeah, we're just playing the normal game. It's not a skull category, so no skulls that change how the game plays. Nah, Bruce, you don't have the timer on. And if you do add it, like, yeah, the timer's not how they would know. They would find out. There's lots of cues to tell that someone's splicing. Hey, Corwin. But yeah, you could fake the timer. Just add it in after. For CE, pretty much everyone. Pretty much everyone except me uses keyboard and mouse. I'm the lone stranger. 
Or Lone Ranger, whatever the fuck it is. Whatever the fucking saying is. Lock on to my signal and approach fast and low. There's a shuttle bay on the ship's starboard side. Holy shit, that was weak. Roger, Cortana. Echo 419 on I don't know, Wiggly, I don't know. Have a good night too, Corwin, if you are still around. I forgot that I'm supposed to stick the gold elite on ledge, or on easy. I got kind of cocky there. Where are you? Why am I scoped in all the way? got froze. Or no, maybe not. Once you walk a certain length away from enemies, they just freeze in place. So yeah, you'll like drop a grenade by a jackal and you'll be like, surely that kills him, but then you run too far away and he just freezes. Oh god, I forgot about this. I have to hit a pretty cool shot. We'll see if I get it. Head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. Got it. So you shoot both Marines at once. Uh, the best CE Xbox runner of all time is Silent Wolf JH. He did have the fastest controller time until I came along. Yeah, he hasn't been around for since like 2018 or 2017. Well, Thunderfall, yeah, because it's different. You know, the MCC timer is different. Like, levels into different spots. I mean, there's lots of reasons. Like, hold up. But yeah, then like all the records that existed before MCC, like, or not, you know, all the times that are from like Gearbox would have to be changed and stuff. And it's like, like keys, right? Like MCC doesn't count the keys cutscene. That's like 40 seconds, right? And it's like, we can't just use the MCC time and then just not count the cutscene times. Like we count cutscene times. That's how you do it in speedruns. Cause you want to encourage like finding ways to skip cutscenes and stuff. And you know, it's something that happens. It's part of your time. Um, but yeah, and it's also just funny stuff like uh, on SC, like this level's IL, the timing ends whenever you get the checkpoint in the Pelican because um, even though in MCC it keeps going and you can't skip the cutscene yet, you have to wait another couple seconds. On Gearbox, the level just ends there when you get the cutscene. And on the original game, the level just ends there and you can just press A and skip the final cutscene and skip ahead to AOTCR. So just stuff like that. Where it's like, um, we just want it to be consistent between all the games. And yeah, the MCC timing is its own thing. That's completely different. It's like on the level Halo, right? Like, on the level Halo, the MCC timer starts time starts counting as soon as the cutscene ends. Whereas we count it whenever you gain movement. Or whenever uh, the first frame your HUD is visible, which is like a six second difference. So yeah, it's just, uh, the CE timing existed before MCC was a thing, so we go off of what timing rules were before MCC. The other games that do use MCC, it's because it's an MCC game like Halo 2 Anniversary, or because whatever their timing rules are don't conflict with MCC, but CEs do. Holy shit, I got blocked by the elite! Uh, because MCC wasn't- I got blocked by the elite again! He's blocking the fucking doorway, dude! Get out of the way! Thank you. Well, MCC wasn't made by speedrunners, it was made by 343, so like, 
their timing wasn't supposed to be like an official speedrun time. It's just a fun thing for like its own leaderboards, right? Like in, like whenever 343 was coding MCC, they were like, oh, let's go to HaloRuns.com and make sure our in-game timer times it according to HaloRuns.com. Like, no, they're just fucking making their thing and it's just a fun thing for the game. Charge me, you jerk. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've lost the grip. Well, that checkpoint you should be able to get every time. Unless you're, uh. If you do the driving right, you should get that checkpoint every single time. Not should, if you do the driving right, you will get that checkpoint every single time. If you mess up the driving, you will not get that checkpoint. Well, yeah, regret, if you wanted, like, on easy, I did regret easy without learning any tricks. But, yeah, on ledge, like, yeah, I think you have to do tricks, but who cares, right? Like, right, like, uh, if you want the part-time achievement, just do it on easy. And why should the part-time be easy to get? Like, it's supposed to be a challenge, right? So what's the problem with it being a challenge? Is my webcam still fine? Yes, the overshield, you are invincible while it's charging up, so that is why that grenade jump doesn't kill us. I don't see the connection there at all, Bruce. Oh wait, I don't need to toss a nade, I'm on easy. Oh god, I have not practiced bridge fall. Hopefully I get this within a first couple tries. Why are there four jackals here? Okay, yeah, this could be bad. We'll see how this goes. Because I'm not good at bridge fall. seem natural not artificial i wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather fuck me dude <laughs> oh god cody's laughing right now not artificial i wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning or if the designers want i think i'm jumping way too early nope got it okay whatever i'll take second try I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fireteam Zulu. I read you. Fireteam Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. No, Mark. On easy, there is no Banshee. It only spawns on Heroic and Legendary. So we have to do the old bridge fall strat. That is way too short. I can't grenade boost. Yeah, I was doing legendary earlier, but yeah, now we are on to easy. And uh, this is the only run that I will attempt. And then it is game over for the stream. Yes, that is called Fireworks Oscar. So that is a trick that I could do. So yeah, there is a Banshee that spawns. It comes after you when you play this level casually while you're in the tank. But there's a Banshee that spawns up on the uh, pulse generator platform. 
And um, you can throw nades and knock it off, but it's pretty tough, and I haven't bothered to learn it. And yeah, that trick's called Fireworks. It could be Thunderfall. My easy PB is... Like I said, my easy PB is slower than my legendary one. By over a minute. So, like... My easy PB is pretty fucking wide open. Hey, Tristan. Legendary was dog shit. I had one run that was decent into Silent Cartographer, and then Silent Cartographer went horrible. Now we are on easy. Yeah, so far so good on this level. One thing that I learned, and I have never practiced this, I just started, like, trying it, but you can actually, like, drive straight up and make this. I suck. <laughs> Instead of having to go around here. But yeah, I'm not... Fuck. I'm... Get out! Holy shit, I suck. <laughs> Why do I run Legendary more often? Because I think it's more fun than easy. Because of the combat element. Like, this is... Yeah. But yeah, it's just different strokes for different folks, right? Because other people, like, running through combat and being a god and being untouchable is more fun, but it also, like, there that could also be less fun because, you know, you're like, oh, I missed a shot, now I'm dead, you know? Whereas this, it's just about, like, tricks and movement. So it's really just about what you're more interested in. But yeah, Legendary is faster than Easy, but that's because no one really is running Easy at a high level at the moment. Like, Easy should be more, should be faster than Legendary. Even with Banshee Grab and not having a tutorial. Like, Le Easy should be faster. Yes, Thunderfall. We are green. <sighs> yeah. Like, yeah, ideally, legendary at its best is faster than easy, but easy is not nearly as optimized as it could be. See whenever Sloth gets tired of H2 and decides to beat Nervy's easy time. Let's go, Bruce. You can do it. Yep, the world record holder for Legendary is in chat. I don't need a plasma pistol. What am I doing? So this jump, I want to kill as many enemies as possible before I do the next grenade jump, and I have to make sure I'm at full shields because, like I said earlier, whenever you do a grenade jump on easy, you are at literally zero health. If anything fucking touches you, if your shields are just a little bit down when you do the grenade jump, you're dead. And then after the grenade jump, if anything fucking taps me, I'm dead. So here I want to kill all these guys. And overcharge there would have been tragic. We'll see. Is it going to happen? Is someone going to shoot me? They're trying to. Yep, there we go. I got hit by something. I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it. Okay. 
should be good now. No fucking way, dude. Uh, grenades now do more damage. You have less health. So the higher the difficulty, the more health you have. It's really weird. No fucking way I messed that up. That is so stupid. That is not a segmented strat, no. Hi, Robinson. That's a lot of time save, or time loss. The complete opposite of time save. I think I'm running against a dog shit library though, so whatever. I'm probably running against a bad TB, because the last time I PB'd on easy, I was probably less good at TB. Oh my god, what are all these monsters here? I don't know, because I skipped the flood reveal. Yes, I'm running against my last PB. That's what the 112.54 is. But that's for easy, right? And I haven't... I don't really play easy that often, so I don't know how old this one is. Thought that might chain react. It did not. How am I supposed to experience the story? So there's a health pack outside here, but I do not want to pick it up. Picking that up would be awful. Horrible, even. You do not want to pick that up if you're running this game on easy, and I'll explain why here in a second. You want to be at one red health. God damn, I'm gonna be red after a fucking minus 29 AOTCR. I'm not doing hill climb sloth. So yes, so on legendary here, we kill the sentinels and that ends the level because it's tied to your allies dying. On easy, it's just you're at one red, then a timer starts and the level ends, so I just have to wait. The level will end. There we go. Uh, I was about to do the grenade jump, but yeah, we do not do that on easy. You're just running to the door. Everyone's favorite level, the library. I no longer say that this is my least favorite level in C. I like this better. I like this level better than Keys. Keys is ass. Fuck, of course he was a reviver. You fucking ass. Of course you're a reviver too. Oh, fuck, you motherfuckers. They pushed him. So, uh, this door only takes... This door doesn't take long at all. But, uh, you can get a grenade jump just to save, like, ten seconds at most. Good night, Bob. Or, not a, did I say grenade... I meant flood bump if I said grenade jump. Which I had three revivers for, which is pretty nutty, but, yeah. That flood after I shot him got shot by the other flood. They fucked it up. Not at this time, Thunderfall, no. Um, so on Legendary, if it's a Reviver, it goes down to two Magnum shots on Easy. It'll go down to one Magnum shot, and then you know it's a Reviver. 
So if I shoot him once and they go down, it's a reviver. If I shoot him once and he doesn't go down, it's not a reviver. And ledge, it's two shots. commented on Garish's latest upload unless he said unless he posted something else the last one I uh, did was his run that died on library to like the 15th try dark door I commented on that where uh yeah it was called like one of the halo speed runs of all time Something like that. Flood activity has caused a failure in a drone control subsystem. I must reset the backup unit. Please continue on. I will rejoin you when I've completed my task. No fucking way I actually got it. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, I fucked up. I fucked up. No, I had it and I fucked it up. It's over. God damn it. Ugh. I just winged that and I fucking got it. And then I fucked it up and got knocked out of the door. And then got stuck. God damn it. <laughs> I, I was not expecting to get that. I was just doing that for the meme. Uh... But yeah, I've never practiced that. Um, so yeah, new video. It's up for patrons right now if anyone's interested in joining the Patreon. It's uh, linked in the description, patreon.com slash frogarchist. You get a bunch of uh, benefits and exclusive content and stuff. Um, but yeah, it'll be up for everyone else tomorrow. So yeah, that's it for the stream. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Where's the fucking button to end the stream? Um... Yeah.